Hi, my name's Trev Hutchings, and this is how to create a song on your phone in Zen Beats. Tap on the Zen Beats app, then tap on New Song. First, let's add a drum beat. At the top right of the screen, tap on the fourth icon from the right. Then double tap the yellow zone. At the top left of the screen, tap on the right arrow to the right of the word pattern. Tap on the green play button at the top of the screen and keep tapping on the right arrow until you find a pattern you like. Now, at the top of the screen, tap on the right arrow to the right of the word default. Keep tapping the right arrow until you find the drum kit you want to use. Then tap on the white stop button. At the top right of the screen, tap on the X icon. You now have a beat that is four bars long, but let's make it longer. Press your finger on the blank area of the screen and drag your finger to the left, so only the end of the pattern area is still visible. Press your finger on the bottom triangle at the end of the pattern section and drag your finger to the right. The song has a tempo of 120 BPM, that's beats per minute, but let's slow it down and make it 100 beats per minute. At the top of the screen, tap on the word BPM. Tap on 120 on the pop-up menu, type in 100 and tap done. Now tap on the word Roland at the top left of the screen. Now let's add a bass track. Just below the drum track, tap on the plus icon. Then tap on instrument track on the pop-up menu. Now tap on electro bass on the pop-up menu. Tap on the right arrow at the top right of the pop-up menu. At the top right of the screen, tap on the second icon from the right twice. Now double tap on the blank area of the bass track to add a pattern section. Press your finger on the pattern section and drag it left or right to move it to the right place on your track. At the top right of the screen, tap on the keyboard icon. At the top left of the screen, tap on the red record button and play the bass notes on the keyboard in time with the beat. Then tap the white stop button. Now press on the bottom triangle at the end of the recorded section and drag it to the end of the bar of the recorded bass notes. And do the same with the beginning. Then press on the recorded section and drag it to the beginning of the track. Next, press on the recorded section until the pop-up menu appears. Then tap on copy on the pop-up menu. Now press on the end of the recorded section until the pop-up menu appears and tap on paste on the pop-up menu. Now tap on the end of the copy until the pop-up menu appears and tap on paste on the pop-up menu again. You can scroll the screen by pressing two fingers on the screen and dragging to the left or right. You may have noticed that tapping on the play button only plays the first four bars, and that's because the loop function is on. So 
let's turn the loop function off. At the top left of the screen, to the right of the white stop button, tap on the loop icon that is currently blue so that the loop icon turns white and the loop function is turned off. So now that the loop function is off, let's add some vocals. At the top right of the screen, tap on the keyboard icon to close the keyboard. At the bottom left of the screen, just below the bass track, tap on the plus icon. Then tap on audio track on the pop-up menu. Before you record your voice, plug in some headphones so you don't record the bass track and the drum beat when you're recording your vocals. Oh, and don't forget to put the headphones on. Tap on the record button and sing into your phone's microphone. Then tap on the stop button. I love it. But take it slow. Right now, the vocals are too quiet and a bit two dimensional. So let's up the volume and add some effects. At the top right of the screen, tap on the second icon from the right. The third mixer strip from the left is the audio track. Just below the mixer strip is an image of a microphone and the words audio track. Press on the fader knob and drag your finger up the screen to increase the volume of the audio track. Then, at the top of the mixer strip, tap on the middle icon. Now tap on plus audio effect. Then tap on compressor on the pop-up menu. Tap the right arrow at the top right of the pop-up menu. At the top left of the screen, tap on the left arrow to the right of the word default twice to select the vocals preset. At the top right of the screen, tap on the X icon. On the audio mixer strip, just below the word compressor, tap on plus audio effect. Press on the scroll bar at the right side of the pop-up menu and drag your finger down the screen. Then tap on reverb on the pop-up menu. Now tap on the right arrow at the top right of the pop-up menu. At the top left of the screen, tap on the left arrow to the right of the word default to select Concert Hall. Then at the top right of the screen, tap on the X icon. Now that we've made our song, let's save it. At the top left of the screen, tap on the three line icon. Tap on song on the pop-up menu, then tap on save song as on the pop-up menu. Now type in a name for your song. Then tap on done. And that's it. You've just created your first project in Zen Beats.